Good evening, I'm Edward Salt with the news here in the South. It was an election headline grabber, a promise to let people living in housing association properties to buy their own homes. But now one Tory-controlled council is expressing serious doubts over that policy tonight. Winchester Council says it could be forced to sell off a quarter of its council homes to help pay for the new scheme and met tonight to discuss its concerns. Bryony Leyland reports. There's not a petal out of place in the property 90-year-old Leslie Wilcock is proud to call home. He and his wife started renting this house from Winchester Council in 1957. When they were given the right to buy in the 1980s, they seized the opportunity with both hands. Margaret Thatcher, she came back with this idea of 60% off, I said, and I took, a, took up on it. And I think this house was priced at about 110000 and I bought it for 12. Two and a half million tenants have already bought their council home since the 1980s, some getting a 70% discount on the buying price. Now, housing association tenants are to be offered the same deal. A new property will be built for everyone sold, but the discounts will be funded by getting councils to sell off their most expensive properties as they become vacant. In Winchester, where property prices are high, opposition councillors warn the government's policy could lead to a quarter of the council's housing stock being sold, and they question whether replacements would be built. There's the question of finding land, and then there's the cost of building the houses. But fundamentally, we don't see why money that's been built up by Winchester taxpayers and Winchester tenants by paying rent over the years should be raided in order to pay for right to buy somewhere else in the country. The council is currently building some new housing to help meet demand, but these are valuable new properties, and under the proposals it could be forced to sell them off. The Conservative leader supports the right to buy, but wants the government to look hard at how the policy will work in practice. There's still some things we want to see in the detail, but have not yet been made clear. Um, we don't want to have to be, uh, be forced to sell our high-value stock, uh, when in fact, in Winchester, everything is high-value. The government says the right to buy will help millions of people who aspire to home ownership and insists the scheme will expand housing stock overall. Winchester councillors have been meeting tonight to debate their views. Bryony Leyland, BBC South Today, Winchester. Well, our reporter David Allard was at that meeting this evening. He's live with me now. David, what came of this meeting tonight? Well, Ed, there was clearly a lot of concern about the potential impact on the city. House prices in Winchester are among the 10% highest uh, in the country, and the council's faced with selling off a lot of its housing stock. But in fact, as we saw in that report, Winchester is one place that is investing in social housing. It's uh, committed to 30 new homes a year, announced another 79 last week. They're pretty proud of that record, but now worried that there's a, a big spanner about to be thrown into the works of their own house building program. So what they're after is a lot more clarity from the government, especially on how this price threshold will apply. Now there are currently uh, 2,000 people on the housing waiting list in Winchester and uh, Lib Dem councillor Jamie Scott tonight said we'd be doing them an injustice if we don't tell the government they've got it wrong, Ed. OK, David, thanks very much indeed. David Allard there.